the two-wheeler market in Uganda is dominated by the Boda Boda. So motorcycle taxi, there's about 200 plus thousand motorcycles doing business in Greater Kampala Metropolitan and there's about 100,000 new vehicles being registered every year in Uganda. So it's ever growing. GOGO was founded seven years ago. We uh, believe that there must be an opportunity in providing a new energy standard in the region. So at the end of the day, when we build a battery and we utilize it in a motorcycle, we're replacing a fuel. We assemble our motorcycle components into a complete rolling chassis and then we add our sort of electrical powertrain components to complete the electric vehicle. We've currently developed 66 swap stations around Uganda. The way it works right now is that a client comes to our station, their battery will be scanned, and that will sort of uh, determine how much energy is remaining in the old battery. Then there will be a new battery that is scanned at the station, and then the difference in energy consumed will be computed, and the client will be billed accordingly. GoGo right now has about 1,500 clients on the road. We will be scaling up very soon, uh, so we hope to have put about 7,000 clients on the road uh, by end of this year. The long-term savings will be higher than about 40%. There's an opportunity for the rider to improve earning. Uh, that's the biggest impact we see because it ensures sort of financial sustainability. What follows, of course, is that uh, there's much less noise and pollutants in the air. We can say for every professional rider we put on the road with an electric vehicle, we are substituting around 2.5 tons of CO2 per annum. Uh, like the fuel uh, border borders, they are expensive compared to the go go because I used to use 20,000 a day, but uh, compared to the go go. I can use like 12,000 a day. We received a training on how uh, to operate this bike. They trained also about uh, saving. And then uh, the more thing they trained us about it is on the road. So they had to uh, enlighten us more about the road signs, how to behave on the road. The education system that is available right now doesn't prepare the graduates to be able to work in this industry. So together with GIZ, we jointly implemented the project to drive uh, to upskill individuals uh, that were in the traditional automotive industry. We had three categories of people. Those are managers, technicians and operators. Those are motorcycle taxi drivers. So for Drive2, we are focused on 200 technicians. 50% of those, we want them to be women. So I've been working with Gogo for one year now. I was home, I was unemployed, and so here I am now. The resort is a been a myth that ladies can't do this kind of work, but coming and working with Gogo, I've, I've realized that everything is possible. There is an opportunity for growth all the time. So yes, here I encourage every lady out there to join the industry because it's growing and we need more ladies. Yeah, and we are doing better here. Yes, we are doing so much good. So I'm proud of it here. Yeah. 